Hey guys, it's Kayler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about the future of Adobe Experience Design or Adobe XD. So this program came out I think around March of last year. So it's a relatively new program and they're going to be updating this as they go and adding new features over time. So this is going to be my top five most wanted features for Adobe XD in the future. In today's video, we're going to be covering features that are specifically in the design tab of Adobe XD and not the prototype tab. We're also going to be talking about if Adobe is actually working on the feature or if it's on their to-do list in the future. So before we begin, make sure you give this video a like so more people can find it. And if you have any feature that you want to see in Adobe XD, make sure you leave it down in the comments below. With all that said, let's get started at number five. All right, so this one is scrollable areas. It's gonna allow us to select a piece of the artboard and make it scrollable. So here I have an example of how it would look. Uh, so not only do we have scrollable artboards, but different sections on the artboard are separately scrollable now. So that would allow us to create things like drop-down menus and tables and slideshows. And it would be a really cool feature to have in Adobe XD and it would allow us a lot of real-world application. I'm super excited about this one and Adobe has stated that they have already started working on this feature. Number four. All right, so coming in at number four on my list is Creative Cloud Library Support. This is one of those things that in Photoshop I never really use, only to save color schemes back and forth through designs. But in Adobe XD, this is going to be extremely useful, and I will probably implement this on a daily basis into my workflow, as it will allow us to save symbols, colors, gradients, everything we need, and transfer them back and forth between files super easily by just opening a folder in the Creative Cloud Library. This is one of those features that is going to be so useful, it had to make my list, and Adobe has already announced that they are working on this feature already, so that is why this is made number four on my list. Number three. All right, so number three, we have the built-in library for common UI elements. And they have something like this already with the UI kits where you can open up Apple iOS, Google Materials, and Microsoft Windows. But the only way to actually grab any of these elements is to open the file up and grab them, copy them, and paste them into your own document. To make it even easier, they could just stick it over here on the side where we already have the previous artboards. Like right above it, just make a UI kit section and have the pre-made Apple iOS and Google and Windows artboards there so when we drag them out all the elements are there all we have to do is just copy and paste and move them around that'd be a lot easier than making individual elements out of every little aspect of the artboards something that simple and we could also allow later on for users to sell their own UI kits here just having like a search feature or a link to take you to a website to buy them and download them there I think that'd be cool but this is just a concept once again, this feature has been confirmed to be started by Adobe. Number two. At number two, we have the sticky and fixed elements on a scrolling artboard. So now that we have scrolling artboards, we want elements to stick in place, such as the nav bar and the header. This feature is gonna allow us to do that. I'm assuming this would be like clicking a pin icon. Uh, in the design mode, all you have to do is on the right side, you would select a pin icon over here. Uh, in this panel and it would allow it to stay in place in prototype mode. I think that would be a really cool feature and this feature is currently in the backlog on their to-do list. Number one. All right, before I announce number one, I want to ask you guys to leave a like on this video if you want to see another video like this covering the prototype tab, most wanted features. So my number one most wanted feature for Adobe XD is the layout grid. Having columns, rows, margins, gutters, guides, and rulers. You would need the rulers to apply the guides, you would need the columns, the rows, and the margins, all of that good stuff for this feature to function, and it would be absolutely amazing. It's one of my most used things in Illustrator and Photoshop, and it is also the most voted feature request on the feature request website from Adobe. It's 1,683 votes, it is at the top of the list, and it will most definitely be my favorite update Adobe Experience Design gets in the future. It's currently in the backlog, so it is on the to-do list, and they've also said it's high on their to-do list, so we should be getting it someday later on down the line. So that is my number one most wanted feature for Adobe XD. And that is all for my list. That is my top five most wanted features in Adobe XD. If you guys want to check out the Adobe XD feature requests, I will link that down in the description below. You guys can check out all the requests from the community on there, as well as vote on your favorites for Adobe to see. This is a different style of video for my channel, so I hope you guys did enjoy it. As always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.
Thanks for watching the video guys, be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. On the left is my previous video, just in case you missed it. On the right is YouTube's recommendation just for you, and the top center icon is my channel icon. Click that to subscribe for more content just like this. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.